Let's draw the Lewis structure for SBr2. This is sulfur dibromide. So for sulfur dibromide, the first thing we need to do to draw the Lewis structure, count up the total number of valence electrons. And we can use the periodic table to help us do that. So if we find sulfur right here on the periodic table, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. Sulfur has six valence electrons. And then we're looking for bromine right here. Group 17, sometimes called 7A, all of these have seven valence electrons. We have two bromines. So six plus 14, that gives us a total of 20 valence electrons for the SBr2 Lewis structure. So we put the least electronegative atom at the center of our Lewis structure. That's the sulfur. So we'll put our sulfur here, and then on either side, we'll put a bromine. Next, we're gonna put a pair of electrons between atoms, and that's gonna form the chemical bond. So we put two here, and here, those are our chemical bonds. We've used four electrons, we have 20. Let's complete the octets on the outside atoms, on the bromines. Now we'll complete the octet on the inside, the sulfur. So at this point, we've used all 20 valence electrons. Each bromine, that has eight valence electrons. That has an octet. The sulfur, it also has eight valence electrons. So this is the Lewis structure for SBr2, sulfur dibromide. If we look at the molecular geometry, we see that we have a bent molecular geometry. That's because these two lone pairs right here, you can think of them as on top of the sulfur and they're pushing the bromine atoms down. We don't show the lone pairs here. So that's why we have this bent molecular geometry. This is Dr. V with the Lewis structure for SBr2, sulfur dibromide. Thanks for watching.